so hi friends good afternoon welcome to sql master channel so from few days for about 15 days i didn't make video for some reason okay so now today i am going to discuss with you is about live project bug tracking and test matrix and sign off process okay so these are very important in the time of real job working so if you know this properly you are able to do the real time work without any problems or without any issues so okay without wasting time we start the video here so let's get started so here live project bug tracking test matrix and test sign off so it is going to be about defects and also a few remaining topics that will mark completion of test execution phase of the stlc that is software testing life cycle what happens when encounter these deviations we obviously have to record them and track them to make sure that these deviations get handled and eventually fixed on the out okay so a uh, first point is these deviations are referred to as defects or bugs issues incidents errors and faults so second point is all of the following cases can be logged as defects like missing requirements incorrectly working requirements extra requirements reference document inconsistencies environment related issues enhancement suggestions so third point is that is defect recording is mostly done in excel sheets or via the use of defect management software tool for information on the how to handle uh, defects via tools try using the following links also okay so hplm and uh, atlassian zira also referred to as the post for uh, the list of the most popular bug, uh, bug tracking tools in the market so how to log the defects effectively typically the following columns are part of the defect report that is defect id for unique identification defect description this is like a title to describe the issues briefly module or section of the aut this is optional just to add more clarity to indicate the area of the aut where the problem was encountered the steps to reproduce what is the exact sequence of operations to be performed on the aut to recreate the bug are to be listed here also if any input data is specific to problem that information is to be entered as well severity to indicate the intensity of the issues okay how much it is serious so and eventually the impact of this might have on the functionality of aut or to other functions units the guidelines on how to assign and what values to assign in this field can be found in the test plan document this is what called as the uh, uh defect report template okay how you can describe your uh, defects uh, along with artifacts and uh, screenshots so defect id in first column and defect description you have to write the defect description and steps to reproduce okay so you have to mention these steps okay so then severity you have to uh, mention here the intensity of the severity okay if it is medium low or high okay you have to uh, mention the status also it is open closed or whatever maybe that status okay so then created by who created this and uh, because developer must know all these things okay so assign to a lead okay along with the screenshot you have to take screenshots also here so this is what called as the defect report template so you must know this properly so then only you can raise the defect properly okay so to particular developer but before this before raising defect you must have to try to solve that defect on your uh, on your own okay if it is not solved then only you have to contact the on-site coordinator along with uh, the team lead and uh, the clients and the developers then only if it is uh, bug and decided that it is bug then you can raise the bug report uh, bug defect report to the particular developer so uh, defects are not good when we log them and keep them to ourselves we will have to assign them in the right order to have concerned teams act on them 
to process who to assign or what order to follow can also be found in the test plan document so this is what called as defect report cycle okay bug life cycle start here and tester reports defects and test lead validate defects and developer lead assign defects then it is go to developer fixes the defects then tester retests again if it is approved then goes to close defect and stop if it is not approved again you have to uh, uh, give that to developer team okay lead again the developer lead can assign that defect to developer again if he is not fixed the uh, properly in the previous uh, section then he developer may fix it properly now then again tester retest once again then approve then come to close defect then it is stop so this is what called as bug life cycle so from the above process it can be noted that bugs too through different people and different decisions in the process of being identified to fix to track and to establish transparency as to exactly what state a certain bug is at the status field is used to uh, bug report the entire process is referred to as a bug life cycle so uh, a few pointers while bug tracking when we are new to create team project aut it is always best to discuss the issue with encountered with a p to make sure that our understanding of what really makes for a defect is correct or not okay so then to provide all the information that is necessary to reproduce the issue a uh, defect that comes back to the testing team with the status set as not enough information does not reflect very positively on us check out these posts okay so you can uh, check here how to get your all bugs resolved without any invalid bug label okay then check if a similar issue was raised before creating new one duplicate issues are also bad news for a qa team if there is an issue that comes up randomly and we don't know the exact steps situations in which we can recreate the issue raise the issue for all the same okay so uh, at the risk of the issue being set to uh, reproducible and not enough information we still have to make sure that we handle uh, all possible malfunctions uh, to the best extent possible so the general practice is that qa team creates uh, each one's defect in an excel sheet during a day and consolidates it at the end of the day so this is what the process so then coming to uh, exit criteria of the this some sample okay uh, live project testing so this is where we employ uh, what we uh, would call the exit criteria this is predefined in the test plan document it is simply the form of uh, checklist okay it's a kind of checklist that will determine whether the uh, we conclude in concluded that the testing after cycle 2 or uh, go for one more cycle uh, it looks like uh, the below template okay you can see below here i will show you when filled out uh, the taking into consideration some uh, hypothetical answers to following questions and concerning with the some sample project here so you can see here this is what the template here the first column is exit criteria and second one is test team and third one is notes so 100% test scripts executed the s 95% rate of test scripts as no open critical and high severity defects as 95% of medium severity defects have been closed as okay so like this you have to make checklist this is what called as the template of this is uh, exit criteria so all remaining defects are either cancelled or documented as a change requests for a future release yes all test metrics collected yes okay like this you have to make checklist okay then only you, you come to know uh, the whole in whole project what you uh, did with your efficiency okay so the state of efficiency the level of efficiency uh, what you included in the project what you did in the project that is what uh, the summary of exit criteria you get that summary in exit criteria so here when we look carefully uh, in at the above checklist there are metrics and sign off ventures uh, there that was we not discussed earlier okay let us start about them so test metrics we have to establish that during the test execution phase reports are sent out to the other project team members to give 
a clear idea about what is happening in the QA execution phase. So this information is important to everyone in order to get validation about overall quality of the final product. So imagine I report that the 10 test cases passed or 100 test cases were executed. These numbers are merely a raw data and do not give a very good perspective about how things are going on. Metrics play a vital role in filling this gap. Okay, metrics are in these simple words intelligent numbers that the testing team collects and maintains. For example, if I said 90% of test cases pass, it makes more sense than the saying 150 cases pass. Isn't it right now? So uh, there are different kinds of metrics collected during the test execution phase. So what metrics exactly are to be collected and maintained for what periods of time? This information can be found in the test plan document. So the following are the most commonly collected test metrics for the projects like pass percentage of the test cases, defects density, uh, critical defects percentage, defects severity wise number. Okay, these are the few examples here. So then coming to the sign off process. Okay, test sign off that is completion report. So as we have to notify all the stakeholders that testing has begun, it is also uh, the QA team's duty to let everyone know that testing has been completed and share the results. So typically an email is sent from QA team, usually team lead or manager, QA manager, giving an indication that the QA team has signed off uh, on the product attaching the test results and the list of open norm issues. So a uh, sample of uh, test sign off email. Okay, so you write the email like this in this model. Okay, so to client, PM, dev team, DB team, BA, QA team, environment team. Okay, and email hello team. Okay, you mention whatever the respective words. So QA team signs off uh, uh, on the this sample project software after the successful completion of the two cycles of functional testing the website. The test cases and their execution results are attached via to the mail you must have to attach those artifacts okay so and then this list is known issue is attached to mail too okay so thanks QA team lee so attachments what you have to attach here final execution report final issue defect report noun issues list once the test sign off email goes out from the QA team we are officially done with the stlc process this does not necessarily mark the completion of uh, the test phase okay uh, of the SDLC. We have uh, still we have to UAT testing to finish for that to happen. So after UAT is done, the SDLC moves to deploy phase where it goes live and is available to its customers and users to be consumed. So this is what the thing what I want to share uh, with you people in this video. If you like this video, kindly like it and share it and subscribe to SQL Master YouTube channel. So I will make more and more videos like uh, related to real time project scenarios in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Take care friends. Bye bye.